Now, the judge has a lot of options available to him. In reality, they probably were. New at 530, we are taking a look at what could be ahead for Piper Lewis. She is set to head back to court later this week after her escape from a women's shelter. Lewis cut off her tracking device before walking out on her work release. She was recently sentenced for killing her alleged rapist back in 2020. A judge will decide what happens next for the 18 year old. Earlier this year, Lewis was granted a deferred judgment and five years probation. Polk County prosecutors recommended she live in an extremely structured environment, but all of that could change. KCCI's Lauren Johnson spoke to a civil rights attorney today who says the judge has a lot to consider. Lauren. That's right, Laura. Attorney Alfredo Parrish told me there are many different outcomes here. Lewis could lose her deferred judgment, get a suspended sentence, or face incarceration. Piper Lewis will head to Polk County Court on Friday, November 18th. The 18-year-old is facing a misdemeanor charge after cutting off her ankle GPS monitor and escaping custody on November 5th. Is it strong enough to cause her to lose a deferred judgment? That's what she was given. She was living at Fresh Start Woman's Center in Des Moines when she escaped during her work release. Details of her escape will likely be considered during her hearing. She cut a bracelet off, which allowed her to excound even further. Let's say she kept the bracelet on, that might be a consideration of a lesser violation. Lois, this is the second chance that you've asked for. You don't get a third. Understand that? Yes, I do. Back in September, order, Judge Porter told other. Lewis this was her last chance. He said if she violated her probation, she could possibly face up to 20 years in prison. Parrish says that could be one of three options Judge Porter has. The deferred judgment, the second would be a suspended sentence, the third would be a form of incarceration. Lewis's legal team could also bring a plan to the judge. The judge doesn't have to accept it, but it's an option as well. The lawyers can get together themselves and they can decide this is what we're going to propose to the judge. Now, in addition to her time at Fresh Start, Lewis was ordered to pay $150,000 in restitution. A GoFundMe was organized by one of Lewis's former teachers, and it has reached more than $500,000. Laura.